Guten Tag and hello, I'm Lyle from Drangzader Name and welcome back to If on a Winter's Night, the free Ichio game that we are currently playing that got from a rather normal kind of point and click, very eerie and horror-y very quickly. And we are on chapter two, I guess, with Lady Winterburn? Born. Born. Lady Winterborn. And... She just got out of bed, and now we will take a look around, of course. So bad. Have I been sleeping? It's dark. Glass decanter. My medicine keeps the nightmares at bay, but there is m not much left. Yeah, lo laud laudanum? Laudanum? Mirror. No. Okay, so she doesn't want to look in the mirror. No light. It hurts. Draped cloth. If I close my eyes, I can almost hear. What's going on with you, lady? How long has it been raining? What day is it? Shh, quiet now. Okay, so she's not. Eh. <laughs> That's creepy. No, then let's go to the hallway. Outside? But it is yesterday. I cannot go outside when it is yesterday. What does that mean? Ball of yarn. Oh, it's Lord Sox's ball of yarn. He always brings it with him when he sneaks in at bedtime. But where is he? Maybe he got caught outside in the rain? It's hard to see anything from here. Oh, okay, now she's going there. <gasps> oh, I can't see anything. Maybe the servants know something? Outside, maybe? Okay, now we are going outside. It's probably chilly out in the hallway. I should cover up just in case. With what? Ah, okay, yeah. <laughs> what was I doing? I think I forgot. I'm just tired. I haven't slept well. Yes, I just need a bit more rest. Okay, back to bed then. A short nap will do me good, no doubt. But first, my medicine. Maybe the laudanum is not good for her. There's so little left. Why hasn't the maid replenished it yet? Are they all dead? What was that? Envelope. Did she kill just everyone? It wouldn't surprise me with this game now. A letter from Lord Cavendish? What could he possibly want? Sorry for your loss. My most sincere condolences. What? Is this a joke? Has my husband seen this? Did the maid bring this? Where is she? Okay, so her husband died and I guess she doesn't want to know about it because all of the pictures are also covered and stuff. It feels like it's inside my head. Oh, this is so creepy and eerie. I don't like it. Book. Porcelain vase. Ornate glass. Book. Some moldy old book. I... I can't remember. Some fading memory. Something not quite here. A lamp? Disturb the shadows? Yes, please. The housemaid should be here, in her chambers. What is this? I hear voices. She's not alone. I think there's a man in there with her. The door is too thick. I can't make out what they are saying. Well, just open it, maybe? I need to find a way to listen to what they are saying. Do you? Get the glass, I guess. Yeah. The door itself is probably too thick, but maybe... If, does it work in real life? Ah, perfect. Not since the conservatory incident. What about her consumption? Has it decreased at all? 
No, but she mustn't have much left. I haven't refilled her decanter in several days, and I've hidden the rest in the cabinet downstairs. Good. And this cabinet is locked? It is. The glass is thick and the lock strong. It is vital that she doesn't find the key. She needs to regain her composure and her health. More letters are arriving, and rumors abound. <gasps> the display cabinet in the parlor! How dare they keep the key from me! I should burst into that room right now, but I will deal with that tomorrow. I think I will have my medicine now. Well, there was some downstairs. Can we go downstairs? Oh, we can. Okay, I can't do anything. All oh, right. It feels like it's inside my head. Okay. Shadow, just a shadow. All right. It's too dark. I still have some medicine in my room. I can go downstairs tomorrow. Okay, lady. She gotta kill all her... Or did she kill her husband? Since Carlo killed someone. Now I'm expecting everyone to kill everyone. Oh. Oh, that got me goosebumps. Ah, oh, drugs. Drugs. Book. My favorite bedside book. Proust's à la recherche du temps perdu. I don't know. As soon as I re read two pages, I start dozing off. Probably same. <laughs> what shall I do today? I could play my harp for a bit. And maybe afterwards tea in the conservatory with a good book. Incident in the conservatory. I remember that. It's not too dark yet. I don't need to turn on a lamp. Oh, this is creepy. But very well done. Some family pictures. These three over here are my favorites. Maman and I in Paris. Paris. February 1923. Mam Maman and I in Vienna. April 1926. Maman and I in New York. October 1925. I remember I found some great records for my gramophone on these trips. Listening to them always brings back the most delightful memories. What about this one? Henry protested at first about including Lord Sox in the portrait. But if I am a winter born, then so is he. He should be here any time now. If I catch him just when he is arriving, I can usually see his automobile from here. What a lovely day. Well, play the harp then, I guess. Is that gonna crush her? That's a piano. I'm sorry to say. <laughs> okay, are we done? The most wistful of melodies. Monsieur Satie was a true master of melancholy. But right now I am in the mood for something more cheerful. Okay, are we gonna play something cheerful? No, okay, that's still the same thing. Yep, okay. To the hallway then. Oh, this is so creepy and so well done. Mom and Dad, oh, how they hated posing for this. They think painting is out and that there is nothing as exciting as photogra photography these days. I cannot say I disagree, but it is so lovely to have them here on the walls like old-fashioned fashioned aristocrats. Dear Grandpapa Beauvoisie, he believed in me when nobody else did. 
the catalogue from the auction in which the vase was acquired. A classic mm -hmm, vase from the Ming period, invaluable. Queen Hua? And one of the few pieces the family can still afford to keep. Uh-oh. Glass. This beautiful Murano glass is a souvenir from our honeymoon in Venice. Just a personal trifle next to the family's treasures, of course. But very dear to me nonetheless. It's not dark yet. If Henry makes it back in time, we should have a picnic in the garden. Oh god, this is so creepy. So this was his study. It's not her maid's... Um, room after all. Apollo. Apollo, god of music and the sun. Grandma Winterborn. I knew her in the la I knew her in the last years of her life. A remarkable woman. Grandpa Winterborn. I never met him, and from what I know, all for the better. I reckon he was old-fashioned when it ca came to crossing class boundaries. Uh oh. So did you? Did you? I, I feel dizzy. Oh no, is she gonna fall? Why was I going downstairs anyway? I'm not sure now. Was I not going back to my room? No. Okay. Are the drugs already not working anymore? Oh, this is so creepy. The whole vibe is so creepy. I hate it. Okay, are we going to bed? I don't know what's wrong. I feel so weak. Ooh. Okay, going to bed, I guess. That was very well done. But, oh my god, I have so much goosebumps. So many, many, much, I don't know. What happened at the conservatory, though? What's going on? Oof, another letter. Lord Windsor now? What is this? Deepest condolences again. But there's more. I am aware of the dire situation of the Winterborn family. Rumors about that precious Ming vase, one of the few pieces not yet sold, surviving on your fortune alone. I believe that our union would be nothing but mutually beneficial. This is outrageous. What is this all about? I must find the housemaid. I demand an explanation. Besides, she has the key to the cabinet. I don't think it's a good idea to rip up all of those letters, actually. Gosh, so good. I can't hear anything. Seems like the room is empty. Or maybe they are hiding from me? Whispering in the dark? How dare they? Yeah, well, open the door. I'm so furious. How dare they not open the door? The glass is cracked. Is this the, the vase he was talking about? I wonder if a thousand tiny pieces will be as valuable as a whole vase. Putain de merde. Okay. Good. We going downstairs? What are we doing? Okay, that vase is done and over with, I guess. Oh, we are actually going downstairs now. Oh, 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 oh wow. Draped cloth. Faint ticking. Bookshelf. Books and more books. Here's one and another. The Prophet's Paradise. Poetry. What good has it ever done? My medicine should be in the cabinet. 
There it is, hidden at the back among the glasses. But I don't, ha I don't have the key, and I have no idea where the maid is. Well, I'll smash the bloody thing open if I need to. Painting. Shreds. Something that used to be a painting. This is so sad. Hmm. Yeah, we can smash the glass with this, I guess. I actually kind of wanted to look around first. Can I still do that? Yes, this will work. Very sad display of flowers, that is. Oof. <laughs> oh god. Glass inside glass. To be admired from afar and not touched. What a sad fate. Oh, this is so creepy and good. One of those awfully boring technical books that Henry's dad liked to keep around. <laughs> Striking as they might look, decorative clocks such as those embedded within busts or statues lack precision and reliability. Such models exhibit an average delay of seven minutes when referenced against a classic long case clock. This is, of course, unacceptable. Well, of course it's unacceptable. Table clock. It is a table clock in the shape of a bust, but it needs winding and the key is missing. Okay, then let's look for the key, I guess. Racket player. My, my gramophone. I have so many memories attached to all these rackets, especially the ones I brought back from my trips abroad with Maman. Which one shall I play first? Three old Viennese dances by Fritz Keisler? Mm hmm. New York. Uh, maybe this one. Are you dancing now? Such a delicate piece. What should I play after this? Alright, then let's hear every single one. Isn't it too dreamy? What should I play after this? Play this one. Ooh, yeah, I like that better. Alrighty. But this is not the way it happened. My trips with Maman, I need to remember. Are we going outside? It sounds like the servants are talking in the foyer. But I do not need anything from them right now. And I should not eavesdrop. It is rude. Okay, are we going upstairs? These are some of my favorite family photographs. Maman in Paris. Maman in Vienna. New York. Oh, I really feel like listening to the records I brought back from these trips. I could do with a little walk down memory lane right now. Yeah, but... I mean, we already did. Do I really listen... Do, do I really need to listen to, like, all of them? In full? Or do they need to be listened to in... Oh, they need to be listened to in order to... In, to yeah, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Now I see. I already forgot. Um, okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. I need to listen to them in the right order in in the way uh, they visited these places. Oh, was that right? O on accident? What on earth was that? I feel a bit lightheaded. Okay, I guess that was it. Was that right? On accident, I made it right, I think. I did it right. Why is this called Pan Statue now? Black says Pan, Lord of All, which is primal and untamed. 
This was Apollo before. Where could he be? Hmm. These two are the same, but this one is different. See in the... It's weird. I keep having this feeling that Henry is in his study, but I haven't heard his car arrive yet. Must be a deja vu. We going to bed? I am, in fact, feeling a bit indisposed, but something is not right here. It does feel colder all of a sudden. Maybe I'll need to put on something else later. Oh, the... My harp! Who did this? The shadow, it's... It's wrong! I'm sorry. It is slipping through my fingers. It's gone. But maybe I can sleep and dream of tomorrow. There's always music tomorrow. Oh, this is so sad. Oh god. Oh, another envelope. Does she look a little bit translucent? She does! Is it raining tomorrow? She's a little bit translucent, isn't she? I'm not imagining that. Am I? Maybe I am. Oh god. I need my medicine. It's probably empty, right? Empty. She is translucent. Shadow, just the shadow. Okay, then let's try downstairs again. Maybe she died in her sleep? Can we go in the... No. I don't go anywhere else, yeah. Ooh, this is so creepy. Ah, it's still here. Oh. Where did this come from? It is a letter from Lord Fitzroy. He is a friend of Henry's, if I remember correctly. Hope this letter finds you well. Wish to offer my most profound condolences. What? So daring as to propose an arrangement for our mu mutual benefit. I dream of holding your hand. Yes, a man can dream. Oh, to walk with you in the lushness of your beautiful conservatory. Is this a marriage proposal? Is this real or did somebody put opium tincture in my morning tea? This has to be a prank. Nobody in their right mind would dare send something like this. I must find the housemaid. Provided this isn't some li lark of hers, she should know who delivered this. I recall I heard her early in the foyer. I recall that too. Oh god. It doesn't look like the maid is here. But I heard voices. Who is this? Oh god, why is this so creepy? Clock key. Hmm. It seems to be stopped. The hands are stuck at three o'clock. But maybe I can try winding it up with this key. Ah! It is too tall. I cannot reach the winding hall. Three o'clock it is then. The music right now. Oh god, newspaper. Oh, it's the issue of Paris Soir. Pa Paris. Paris. Why do I rrr all the time? That's n French people don't do that. Everybody made such a thing out of it. Many were shocked today upon learning of the engagement of the extravagant heiress of the Beauvoisie jewelry empire, Mademoiselle Valérie Beauvoisie, to Henry Winterbourne, Lord Winterbourne of Chatham Green. In a move seen as uncharacteristic for the socialite, whose friendships with avant-garde artists such as Germain Dulac or Fernand Leger 
were are well known. She declared her intention to move to the family manor in Wiltshire, England, leaving behind a life of glamour and in Paris for Britain's green pastures. Despite the loud rumors regarding the ruinous financial situation of the Winterborn family, the heiress insists that this is a marriage of love and that moving to the calm of the countryside will be a welcome change for her after the frantic activity of the last few years. Oh, I do love it here so much. Are you crying? Your ghost? It's chilly here. Main door conservatory. I want to know what happened there. Oh, I do wish to read that article just once more. I could read this over and over. It's gonna say, her husband said. Many were shocked today upon learning of the engagement of the extravagant heiress of the Voisy jewelry empire, Mademoiselle Val Valerie Bouvoisy to Henry Winterborn, Lord Winterborn of Chatham Green. In a move seen as un uncharacteristic for the socialite whose French blah 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 blah, she declared her intention. Despite the loud rumors regarding the ruinous and that moving to the calm of the countryside. Okay. I'm not distressed to go outside. We need to wind up the clock in the parlor, right? We got the key, so maybe we can do that? Oh! I just saw that the this place actually cracked now. The winding key from the standing clock should fit here. Perfect. I can wind the clock now. What time shall I set? Hello? I can't do anything. Oh, uh... Three... Hmm, I don't know what, what I was expecting. Uh, can I do 15? What happened here and why is nobody taking care of this mess? Okay, is there somewhere that this place a time? Other than the clock in the... Okay, now I need to figure out what time I need to set this to. This says three o'clock. Maybe a treaty on clocks because it said they are all always uh, seven minutes like a delay. Okay. So is it three fifteen? Uh, three seven, not fifteen. Ah, three seven. God damn it! <laughs> Hey, is it then 2.53? No, oh, no, 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 go back, no. Is it then 2.53? Oh, it is working again. The mechanism is ticking and the hands are moving. And is that the grandfather clock? Is it working too now? So that was it. That took me a second. <laughs> the clock is working again, just like... I... I am not sure now. When was that? I was here browsing the afternoon papers. Lord Sox rushed in. The clock chimed. He ran into the conservatory. What had the little rascal done? I cannot remember. Oh, no matter. It'll come back to me. Now about that Lord Fitzroy. There must be somebody in this house who can tell me what is going on. Let's go into the conservatory, can we? We can. Ivy. 
This baby ivy will soon start climbing the wall. Plants. What are you looking for in there? Did I see something moving there? Is that the key to... To what was it again? No, not quite here, but there is a rustling of leaves somewhere. Camillas are so delicate with their snow white petals and tiny golden hearts. Hmm, <clears throat> must have been my imagination. The water looks so serene. Why is she what, what's she doing there? Are you gonna drown? Is, did your did your husband drown in there? So many times I have sat on this bench and just let my mind wander. And you cried there, apparently. I'm so lucky to have my very own san Sanctus Sanctorum shrubbery. This foliage is so thick, a tiger could hide here. Okay, you were going this way then. Do I need to find a start and then go around, maybe? Possibly the best spot in the house. What are you doing down there? Enjoying the morning sun with a cup of tea is something I never did very often back in Paris. I feel like I need to to click these in order, maybe? No, not quite here. Okay, this first. Then maybe the pond? No, okay. Uh, this first. Then here? Yes. Over there. There was something here, stirring the leaves, and suddenly a blur, a chase, the clinking sound of porcelain. Then this, right? Yes. I'm guessing we are reconstructing her memories. Here, a scream of pain, red streaks. Then knuckles white like snow, hands so cold, so cold. Then the pond. Did she kill him and try to... What, what happened? Oh dear, no. The water is no longer screaming. Then where is this sadness coming from? It is stronger here. What is this sorrow? Why do I feel this way? This place is always so soothing to me. But those sensations, they were so vivid and unsettling. And the water... I could have sworn it felt... Wait, what is that? Seems there is something at the bottom of the pond. But I am not reaching into that filthy water with my bare hands. I need to find something to help me drag it out. Okay. Uh, something in the shrubbery? Hmm. What could we use? I, I don't remember seeing anything. New 
newspaper. Okay, not going outside. Wait, 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 what is that? This should work. Oh, okay. Then let's go back. I didn't even see that there were... Uh, these were there. This is gonna be creepy, isn't it? This is gonna be full of blood and murder and death. Yep! My lord, my dear lord! What happened to you? Who did this? Did nobody see anything? Where's is that the cat? I must find help. Yes, Lord Sox. Did she drown him? And she poured blood upon the flowers whose petals are whiter than snow and whose hearts are pure gold. She can wait. Did she drown her own cat? There has to be somebody here. There has to be. Hello, can anybody hear me? I don't understand. I left this on the table. Am I going mad? But this is not the Paris Soir. This, it's the London Evening Standard. Many were shocked today upon learning of the passing of Henry Winterbourne, Lord Winterbourne of Chatham Green, in a tragic automobile accident. As the car in which he was riding rolled up towards the driveway of the Winterbourne Manor, the family cat, which had been missing for days, dashed onto the road in front of the vehicle. The chauffeur gave the driving wheel a sharp turn. No, no, no. Henry? Dead? This is absurd. He's here. He's, he's upstairs. I was waiting for him to come home, but he never arrived because he was here the whole time. Of course, how silly of me, that's it. He must be in his study. He'll know what to do. He's in his study. He's upstairs. He'll know. I need to see him. I need to see him now. Oof, God damn it! Now everything is turning grey again, right? Yep. That's what I thought. Oh, this is oh, this is terrible. So, because the cat was responsible, she drowned it. N not uh, creepy, very creepy. Oh, this is so well done. I like this so much. And the creepy music and everything. Henry, are you there? Henry? Henry? What have they done to you? Oh, what a transition. Oh my god. Mwah. Why did they hide you from me? I've missed you so much, my love. I've been away for a while. But I'm here now. Henry, I did something terrible. It wasn't his fault, he didn't deserve it. But it hurt so much when you left and I had such dreams, such terrible dreams. But I found you now and I'm never going to let them take you away from me again. She's translucent again. I just need more sip of my, one more sip of my medicine and then I'll come back for you and take you home. We are going to Paris, my love. Oh, this is so creepy. And now the servants. She will kill the servants, won't she? I'll be right back. <laughs> Amy and seems so far away now, flickering like a roll of film. You would have understood. You would have forgiven. Mom, Dad, I am barely here anymore. You really are not here anymore. Are you just gonna fade away? Are you just gonna die of an overdose or just... I feel like she's getting more and more translucent. Let's see, a swirling, yawning void. I, can't, I can make it stop now. A roaring primal scream. 
I'm sorry. I'm sorry for everything. You inbred bastard. <laughs> this is... Oh. This is terrible. I hate it so much. Oh. Display cabinet. My medicine is not here. Another one of those awful letters? No, it's an invitation. To a masked ball? How delightful. Did Henry send this? Will he be there? Oh, I hope so. What a surprise that would be. This must be my mask then. It's so beautiful. So she did die of an overdose. Holy hell! <laughs> I hate it. And I was expecting Henry to meet me here. I can't seem to find him. But he must be here. Who else could have sent that invitation? <laughs> Interesting. I've been asking myself the self same question. I am sorry, and you are? Apologies, my name is Jordan Samuels. I am a doctor. Your conversation caught my attention because I too cannot recall boarding this train or even waiting at any station. Given the weather outside, I reckon I must have surely brought a coat with me. Yet, there seems to be no cloakroom anywhere. I have attempted to bring this up with some of the other guests, but unlike you, they do not seem to be bothered by it. I cannot explain it, but I feel like... We should not be here. What do you mean by that, that, doctor? Where else do you reckon you should be? I am not sure you would even believe me if I told you, ma'am. Oh, don't worry about that, dear. If only... If you only knew how much these old eyes have seen. I doubt anything could surprise me at this point. Please, sir, I think we all wish to hear what you have to say. Oh, I for one most definitely do. V very well. I guess I should start at the beginning, then. I had been working late into the night. We will make a cut here. The Nameless Ritual. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to leave it here. Um, and say thank you. Thank, thanks to all of you uh, for watching. This is so creepy, but it's so well done. I love this so much. And I, as I said before, I will definitely finish this. So, you guys... Thank you so much for watching. Please, please, please stay safe, stay healthy. Bye bye und auf Wiedersehen.